Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a quick reading based on the best course of action for you right now in order to improve your finances. Um, this reading was inspired by one of the polls that I've posted on my Instagram some time ago where people voted what they have issues with right now. Um, the first one was mental or emotional health issues and the second one was financial issues. So that is why we're looking at what we're looking at here today. Let's get into it. Pile number one is on your left, pile number four is on your right. Tap in, see which number calls your name and let's get into it. Hey, pile number one. So before we start, be discerning and sometimes you'll have to kind of translate what I'm trying to say to suit your situation and see if that makes sense to you. Let's get into it. Let's see what we have for pile number one. The best course of action in order for you to be more financially stable. You have a star. For a lot of people, what this is telling you, aim higher. Some of you are set in some sort of limitations. Um, for example, I only think or I only believe I can earn this amount of money. Or I believe I am not able to get that job. Your cards are highlighting that you can achieve more than you sometimes believe. The star card is your wish, is your dream. It's saying seek for it. Seek for it. It is out there. It's important to look at during that time when you are seeking for what you want. Doesn't matter how big it is. The star is far away, right? But in this reading, it's literally next to you. You can pull it in. It's important to look at if there is any limitations that you have set for yourself, any beliefs that you have picked up maybe from your surroundings even. What you have witnessed when you were growing up, especially for those who didn't have a lot of money. Um, your card is saying you can achieve much more than you think. What is the next course of action for you? If you believed that you can achieve this amount of money or get this job, are you still going to continue doing the same thing that you used to do before when you had a smaller vision for yourself? Let's look at the advice. I'm gonna pull one more card. What is an advice for you? Also for some of you, um, the star card is advising you to be visible. Do not hide in the shadows. There is something that you will be doing in your work that makes you look visible. You are out there for a lot of people to see. This is for a particular group of people who I'm talking to. Visibility is a big thing here. If I'm not visible, how can I achieve what I want? If no one sees me, right? What is an advice for you right now? Pile number ones. What is an advice for you right now? Pile number ones. Okay, invest in that vision, in that dream. Doesn't matter how how big it may seem to you right now, how unattainable it might seem to you right now. Seeing that scratch that belief system. One step at a time is what you what what is going to get you there. Okay, this might not happen overnight, but if you continually invest your time and your energy in the vision that you have, you will get there. Do not compare your own timing or your own achievements. Uh, for example, by the time they are 30, um, they achieve this and that, and I didn't. It's saying this is not your path. Your path might seem a little bit slower, but believe me, whatever you are getting at the end of it is exactly what you always wished for. Continue continuously invest your time in what you want okay and have a good have a good discipline have a good discipline pile number one and you'll get there i mean come on you have a star card and what i'm looking at um over here in this star card in particular i'm looking at the bird right there i don't know if you're able to see that I'm looking at the stork and um, it's right behind her. It seems like this is not that far away. And I'm thinking when I'm looking at this bird of birth, I'm birth birthing something out into the world and it is coming to fruition. 
So that was a quickie. Um, let me know if you like readings like that and if this was beneficial, if you liked it. As usual, if you need more content, find me on Patreon and until the next time, tribe. Hello, pile number two. Before we start this reading, as usual, be discerning. See if this is yours. You'll feel it intuitively, okay? Uh, many people are in different situations watching this, so you're going to have to apply to your situation. Would it be a business? Would it be you working for a company, etc., etc.? What is the best course of action in order for you to improve your financial well being? Pile number twos. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one, to say the least. Now, what happens in life sometimes, um, sometimes um, one part of our life becomes, um, if you want to call it stagnant, right? Or we feel like we're not moving as much as we, we want to move career-wise, business-wise. And sometimes it happens because our attention is being drawn to our relationship. And those two um, are very connected. If, for example, I'm not paying enough attention to my personal relationships, um, I can see that rubbing off of my on my career. It's like you're being shown that your attention right now should lie in relationships. For example, someone is trying to get a new job, or someone is someone has everything planned out for themselves, um, career-wise, and then boom, they get pregnant. Right? It's like an interference of a relationship that happens, but it's not a bad one because it's Ten of Cups. Um, you are being asked to focus on family. And remember, why these two connect very strongly? Our financial well-being as well as our emotional well-being. Because the emotional um, sense of security and safety also ties into the material world in a sense, right? I'm feeling safe when I have this amount of money in my wallet. But I'm also feeling safe when I have strong support system around me. The best course of action right now would be to have a strong support system around you. Um, someone may say something, someone may suggest something. You might not even um, know at that time how important it was until one day it hits you. Oh my God, they actually said something that is very beneficial to me. Or, oh my God, I met this person who now is my business partner and maybe we are, we are romantically connected. And then your financial well-being um, starts improving. Pile number two, you probably have noticed already that your attention is being drawn to relationships. Would it be friendships? Would it be family? There is a reason why this is happening. And it's not to say that you are completely ditching your financial goals. There is a key that unlocks the financial wealth for you that is connected to your relationships. Does that make sense? I'm trying to make uh, make this as clear as possible. I know it might feel very complicated for pile number two. But as long as you understand that those two are very connected, our careers, our sense of safety and security financially, as well as emotional sense of safety and security. And the, it's kind of like um, you probably noticed, you're being navigated for life. I maybe need to spend a bit more time with my loved ones or I need to focus on maybe healing particular relationship and then I refocus on my career and it's like a it's like waves right coming in let's see what is your advice here What is your advice, the best course of action right now for your financial well-being to improve? We have two cards wanting to come out. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Patience. And I know a lot of you will hate hearing that. Patience, one step at a time. Don't rush outcomes. Do not rush outcomes. Be observant. She is observing the animal. She is observing the horse. The horse is still. Okay? And you also have the Empress. I mean, come on, there is some sort of pregnancy ha happening here. Either this would be actual pregnancy, um, that's where your attention is being drawn to. Let's focus on the expansion of the family and everything will fall 
into its place how it has to or for others of you I'm focusing on my relationship for now I'm giving um, my thoughts especially if it's repetitive thoughts um, it's like you lost in a loop in your brain when it comes to career and finances I'm focusing on happiness with my loved ones that makes me feel much more at ease much calmer I can see much more when I look around my perspective changes slightly I appreciate slightly different things and then what I see is that I have the Empress I'm about to birth something out into the world that is very precious this could be like your own business this could be like an idea that comes through after you stayed still for a moment or after you focused on your relationship okay this is a very interesting uh, reading pile number two I've witnessed this happen a lot of times in my own personal life too when I'm focused on earning this amount of money I'm focused on having enough clients or putting out content um, and um, my cards keep telling me relationships your priority I might not understand why at first but I always understand at the end okay so hopefully this made sense part number two and until the next time as usual if you need more content find me on patreon and have a wonderful week bye hello part number three let's see I'm um, now be discerning in this reading you will know if this is a message for you or it's not um, if you tried some things already or if you haven't let's see Apply this to how it suits your situation, but don't push the messages. What is the best course of action in order for you to be more financially stable or wealthier? You have the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. either, either this has happened already or that's something that you need to be on a lookout. It's saying look for a new idea. A fresh idea something that acts like a light bulb moment and that will make you financially successful financially wealthy wealthier you may come up with an idea for a business an idea of a course of action an idea of how you're going to approach that project that is gonna be very quick and quite unexpected and your cards are asking you to act on it act on on an idea do not leave that idea in the background okay write it down there is something to do with this idea that will make you financially secure financially successful you are the one who's holding the sword remember you're the one who is going to be navigating this sword this is a reading about an idea turning into something really good turning into something that it, that brings you financial resources an aha moment keep looking for ideas keep looking for inspirations but it feels like it's gonna come through really naturally for you here part three let's see an advice the best course of action also don't be afraid to be slightly different okay um, what is done already it's saying if you if you think something can be done differently do it try it out show it to the world if you for example looking for I don't know a set of bikini and you can't find one particular set of bikini why not creating it yourself you know what I mean? There is something to do with this newness over here in pile three. Or for example, why do I only think that I can work that I can work from an office? Why can't I work remotely? Why can't I look for a job that allows me to work remotely and then I can go and travel and work at the same time? There is something really unique here in pile number three. You're being asked to be unique in your approaches, in your ways of thinking. What is your advice right now? What is your advice right now, pile three? 
something that wasn't done before, something that wasn't explored, something that is non-traditional is the best course of action here. And also make sure you don't leave those ideas hanging. One of those ideas will bring you quite a lot of financial wealth, okay? Don't be afraid of competition. That's exactly what I want to talk about in pile number three. For example, there is people telling, um, telling, I've noticed it many times, especially online, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, this is weird, but look. Let's stick to that bikini example. Say you deciding to have your own, to create your own business. You go into make swimwear. You tell it to someone and they say, oh my God, there was, it's so competitive. There are so many bikinis and companies making bikinis out there. And you go, yeah, but they don't have what I have. They don't have the ideas that I have. None of us are the same. I can offer something completely different what is not made just yet. Maybe the vibe that I'm offering of that line of bikinis is very particular. Maybe it's very gothic. I don't know. Maybe it's super punky. Right? It's saying don't be afraid to compete with what is out there. Do not think that you cannot accomplish something if it's already done. But the way you're going to do it is going to be different. So big authenticity vibes in pile number three. Make sure you acknowledge who you are, you understand who you are, because that's where your authenticity comes from. Knowing thyself, right? Knowing yourself. And then put it out into the world. Would it be an approach? Would it be a business? Unique ideas is what is going to get you where you want to be, okay? I hope this made sense, file number three. And as usual, if you need more content, find me on Patreon. And until the next time, bye for now. Hello, pile number four. Let's see. Uh, be discerning in this reading. See if you have tried that course of action already. Um, see how that might apply to you because some people have their own businesses, some people working for companies. But I'm going to try and explain it to you so that everyone can understand what I'm trying to say. Four, what is the best course of action in order for you to be financially? Financially, oh, interesting. Wealthy or wealthier. Let me sit with this for a minute. Literally, let me sit with this for a minute. There are going to be two groups here of people. And I'm going to talk about both. So let's get into it. First thing first, what needs to be acknowledged here is that for some of you, as if there is someone talking in your ear, would it be your own beliefs that you picked up when you were growing up, right? Someone else's maybe beliefs that rubbed off on you and now you, you think it's your own, what I'm capable of versus what I'm, what I'm not capable of, how much I think I can earn. And that needs to be looked at. There is something in your headspace that is happening here that makes you feel that you cannot do better or makes you feel that you are stuck and there is no way out. But the reality is not it. He can get up and he can walk off of that track. Okay, he's so lost in his head over here that he cannot see the way out. Make sure you don't overthink. Um, pile number four may have this issue of procrastination that is their worst enemy. And um, the best course of action would be to implement some sort of grounding techniques at the start of your day. So that whatever is happening in your headspace, if you want to release it to the universe, imagine that through meditation, or if you want to imagine it going to the core of the earth and earth takes care of everything that you don't need, that is not beneficial for you. Now, another group of people, they overthink, they overthink their course of action and they don't, um, they end up not doing anything about their issue. Pile number four, step out of your head. 
you've been there for way too long and it's not helping you to improve your situation. The more you stay there, the gloomier it might get. And that is not a good course of action. It's okay if you're thinking about ideas, if you're writing them down, if you are trying to come up with, I don't know, some sort of structure. But it's different when you just dwell on things. Um, this is something that is a part of your shadow I'm seeing for a lot of you that does not allow you to progress. Face your shadow, talk to it, acknowledge what is going on and apply. What's important is to apply some sort of routine that works for you, that doesn't make you feel that you are stuck, that makes you feel that, okay, I acknowledge that maybe some of those thoughts are coming back to me from time to time, but I don't listen to them. This, that voice does not determine my actions or non-actions, okay? Let's look. The best advice here for you. Advice for you in order to be financially wealthier. It's time to get up. I'm here in pile number four. It's time to get up. Enough of dwelling. Um, someone needs a loving kick in the ass here. The best course of action. Your dreams are out there. Your dreams and wishes are out there. But you don't maybe think sometimes that you can get it. These are two versions, versions of you. Okay? And I really think that a lot of times you are your own worst enemy. Um, that bump on the road to your financial wealth is in your headspace. So deal with the headspace. And if this is fear, if this is fear of failure or this is fear of trying something because you don't know how it's going to go, it's not that we completely get rid of our fears. They might still be there, but we don't allow those fears to determine our actions. Remember that book that I talked to quite a lot about? I don't know if you're new, then you probably don't know. Susan Jeffers, feel the fear and do it anyways. Maybe some people think that, oh my God, this person is so, um, so successful, financially successful because they're so self-confident. No one is always self-confident. How you can get there is by putting yourself in the situation that you maybe are uncomfortable in and seeing how it goes. It's through practice here, pile number four. Through practice, you'll get to where you want to be. Also, for some of you, you might not know what you want to do in life. You might not know yourself that much just yet. You're trying to find yourself. What do I really want to do? If I could do anything on this planet that brought me money, what would I do? And we're not, we're not attaching our plan to the, fin, fina, to the finances here because this is emotional fulfillment, okay? This is emotional fulfillment. And with that comes the financial fulfillment because you become really good at what you do you love it. You, some people obsess with their hobbies. It becomes the business, the next thing you know, even if you didn't plan it, and you're living your best life. You have your dream job, and maybe you didn't even plan that to become a dream job. For some of you, your hobby, something that you love doing, may turn into a really successful business. Spend time with it. But it has to be fun for pile number four. Your financial wealth is connected to how much you love what you do. Because otherwise, you may become very anxious or very depressed and you don't want to do anything at all. You don't even maybe have energy for your own dreams. After you work for someone else, that 8 or 10 hour shift, you're like, I have nothing to give to my own wish, to my own dream. So having a better balance here, having a better... Um, 
start of the day, especially if you still work in a job that you don't like, start of the day would be a core uh, thing for you. I'm starting off my day, I don't know, meditating or just sitting with myself, looking out of the window and just feeling my body, right? It's part of a meditation too. Therefore, I don't give 100% of myself because I'm not anxious. I'm grounded. And when I come back from work, I still have enough energy to do things that I want to do for myself. So I'm looking at this battery in panel number four. How do we want to use our battery? How can we contain more energy so that we are focusing more on what we love doing? Your financial success is what you love doing. Yes, it may not happen overnight. A lot of times people hear success stories and they think it happened overnight and that person was actually working on that for five to 10 years, right? And they finally got there. And the rest of their life, they're doing something that they love. There is a sense of pride here, panel number four. What you are doing, sense of pride. All these cups are your accomplishments here. And I'm hearing I'm so happy I decided to go for it. Yes, I had to go through difficulties. Yes, maybe I had to um, put some things on a back burner. I had to prioritize what, what's best for me at that time. Maybe I didn't fix my wall. Maybe I didn't have enough time to fix that wall because I was so focused on what I want to do. But that's okay. Now I have money. I can fix it. I can hire someone to fix it. I can even renovate the whole the whole house right one more card let's see advice yeah look at your pain look at your hurt first there is something that might be keeping you away from being financially successful, wealthy, that's connected to past hurt. There is some sort of interference here. Once we look at it, I feel like everything else is going to start flowing very easily for you. And don't rush this because this is, this is healing. This is deep healing, okay? Take a minute. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself first. Because how can you... How can you invest your energy and time in earning more money when your heart is aching? Or when you're feeling mentally or emotionally saddened? You don't have enough energy. So let's focus on that battery first, panel number four. That's the best course of action for you. On the battery, on healing, implementing a better routine. And then bang, you're going to have the nine of cups, I'm sure. Yeah, and then you'll be able to take action. Then you'll have enough energy. This is the fastest night. Then you can do quite a lot in a short period of time. Just make sure you take care of yourself first and you have your battery full. Mm, it doesn't have to be 100%, at least get to 80, okay? And you'll get there. So if you need more content, as usual, find me on Patreon. And thank you for being here. Until the next time, bye tribe.